like any first day going back to training camp is a, it's a learning experience, and uh, it's, de it's definitely a learning experience for us being together for the first time, getting in a new system. So, um, you know, everything is kind of on the fly right now, you know, but you know, we continue to get better. Did it feel like you never left? No. No. <laughs> no, I can't say that. I can't say that because I'm, I'm learning a totally, totally different system with a new coach, with new guys around besides Andy. You know, so it's different. Hey, Brock, did you speak to the team before today's practice or last night or anything? Uh, yeah, I spoke to them today before the practice. What was the message? Uh, just got to build our habits. You know, we got to build uh, – you know, character, and uh, you know, we always got to protect each other, uh, no matter what's going on through the best of times, through the through through, uh, through the worst of times as well. So, uh, you know, let's see what happens. Well, Brian, you said yesterday uh, that you can't waste a day. Uh, you only had one day of practice. Did, did you get the sense that, that the other guys get that? Well, yeah. I mean, we, we understand it, and uh, you know, I plan on coming back in here um, again later on, even though with. Uh, you know, coach only scheduling one. I'm probably come back in here and get some more work in. Um, so, um, you know, we have an opportunity to get better. I think we did that this morning. Huh? No. Uh, <laughs> Nate, probably. Yeah. yeah. What did you learn about David Flat off the bench? He's very efficient. You know, he 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 doesn't like to repeat himself too much. You know, um, like I said, he threw some stuff at us today. Kind of learned on the fly. Um, see how we can, uh, you know, comprehend it and, uh, and and make it happen from there. But I think everyone that was attentive, um, you know, we made mistakes. Obviously, it's the first day. We all made mistakes, and we're trying to figure them out. But um, you know, it was a good first day. He's Brian, you're obviously used guy, to. But he's not trying to necessarily impress people. It's just he just is himself. I mean, it's just, did you get that vibe from him? Like he just. Well, he shouldn't try to impress no one. You know, I um, mean, we shouldn't. People get caught up in trying to impress people instead of being yourself and who you are and what you stand for, and that's what he's about. He know what he stands for. Uh, he know what he's here to do, and that's to, to lead us and uh, you know for us to win ball games, and that's all that matters. That's a, that's a tough job to walk into, though, right? I mean, he's never coached in the NBA, and he's got to coach you and Kevin and Kyrie, and it's just. It's or you can have an alternative and not have me, Kevin and Kyrie. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> I mean, it's going to be tough no matter what. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, it's, it's tough to say. Um, you know, we have so many great players out there on the floor right now. Um, you know, everyone is in, in, in pretty good shape. No one's in game shape right now, probably besides Kyrie, Deli, and Andy. Those guys played all summer. Um, but, you know, we're all just trying to get our legs up underneath us and, uh, you know, continue to battle through it. Well, Brian, you're obviously used to being in a leadership role on any team you've been on. What, what are you trying to accomplish here in terms of finding your leadership voice with this group? Well, it's the same for me. I won't hold back. Um, obviously, I'm going to continue to learn the new guys that I'm playing with. And, you know, you, you communicate differently with each and every one guy. You know, uh, you don't communicate the same way. You, And as I continue to learn people's personalities, continue to learn, you know, how to how to approach them, how they like to be approached, and I'll be able to, to lead in that instance. But I won't hold back at practices. Aside from being home, what was it that intrigued you about this team? Well, um, well, I mean, coming back and, uh, I'm, you know, my letter kind of spoke for it, knowing what the city and uh, Northeast Ohio, what I mean to to it, you know, that was, it had a lot to do with it, probably 95% of it. And, uh, you know, and the fact that, you know, Kyrie was here as well, you know, it's a, it's a huge part. I never played with a point guard like Kyrie Irving, uh, you know, a guy that can uh, kind of take over a game for himself, you know, and if we need it, so. You know, that was a huge thing, and I, that was way before we even, you know, got love and, you know, and signed Mike Miller and, and the rest of the guys and Tricks and the rest of the guys. So, you know, that, that was very intriguing. Well, Ron, when you, when you play, uh, it's interesting playing with a point guard like Kyrie. When you play with a point guard who has that kind of scoring ability and is long and long for leader, is, is there an adjustment for you or for him in terms of playing off the ball? And making well, I think it would be more of an adjustment for him than me because, I, I mean, I just spent four years of doing it. Going, you know, playing with D Wade, and uh, you know, that we had our adjustment period where we both had to move off the ball. You know, it was something that we weren't comfortable with. Um, you know, going into it, um, I come in here doing it four years in a row where I played off the ball a lot, and uh, I developed, you know, my inside game. I developed my catch and shoot jump shots and things of that nature. 
Uh, so it could probably be a little bit more adjustment for him, not for me. Well, yeah, I mean, it's always good to stay fresh. I mean, for me, I, I, like, I handle the ball when I get the ball off the backboard, you know, because I, you know, I like, I'm a good rebounder. I like to rebound, and, uh, you know, I kind of push it from that instance. Um, you know, and in certain sets, I probably handle the ball a little bit, but, you know, it's Kyrie's show. I mean, you know, he's our point guard. He's our floor general, and we need him to put us in position to succeed offensively, you know, and uh, he has to demand that and, and command that from us. With him handling the ball. LeBron, when you get saw, back in March, when you get back in March and beat the title, which impression did that night make? Seeing how everyone embraced him, did that have any sort of impact on your decision to come back? Nah, no, nah, not at all. Nah, I came back for one reason, one reason only, and that was to support Z. You know, it was nothing else. I flew in and flew right back out. Did you give any thought at that night to come back? I know you said that you never thought about it after the season. Did you like nah, it? Nah, no, no, I didn't. Um, it was a, it was a great night. And uh, I was happy to, to be here to support such a great friend of mine and uh, you know, all those accomplishments, but um, it didn't linger into my mind at that point in time. LeBron, it seems simple, but how difficult it is for a dominant scorer, ball handler, to adjust to just be, you know, being a catch-and-shoot player? Well, you don't want to be a, just a catch-and-shoot player. Um, you adjust to what helps the team the best. And, um, you know, for me, you know, I handled the ball a lot my first seven years in the league. And then I, you know, I went to Miami and kind of had to play a, a different role. And, and it definitely helped me improve my ability to handle the ball because I can do that as well. But, you know, knowing that you have someone uh, like Kyrie and, and also Dion, who also can create things off the dribble, you can kind of play off them. In the last few years, you had sort of co-leaders of the team, several guys who were leading the team. There's really nobody who's your peer on that, on that this year. How is that different? How are you approaching that differently? I take full responsibility of being a leader of the team, and obviously we have guys that lead as well in their own facet or in their own ways. But uh, you know, I don't mind taking f full responsibility, all the leadership role of this team, and uh, you know, that's what I'm here for. About four years, four years ago, you were standing here pretty much in the same spot and dealing with the aftermath of a playoff loss to Boston, and then a short time later, you decided to go to Miami. What, in what way, have you changed the most? Um, I don't know. I just mature like anybody else could do in a four-year span, I would hope. You know, being in your 20s, I would hope you would, would mature from 20 to 24 or 26 to 30 or whatever the case may be in your 20s. Um, you know, and that's it. I know you rebound because this team is blessed with a lot of good rebounders. Will it free you up to do other things? Um... Yeah, it will, but, um, you know, my instinct is always kind of go to the – I've been always been a very good defensive rebounder, and, uh, you know, it would be hard for me to stay away from it even though we got, you know, Andy and Tristan and, and Kevin Love, those guys dominate the, the defensive rebound. So if I take a few away from them, they might be really mad. So, uh, you know, i got to pick my I got to pick my spots. When you, when you talk about coming back to Northeast Ohio, what you mean to this place and what it means to you, you, you mentioned in your letter talking about winning championships and what that would do, but you also talked about the other things that you, you can do for this area. What, what are some of those things that you're planning on doing or that you've already started? Well, it's not even uh, me actually going on and doing it. It's just my instinct, the people using me as inspiration. You know, being in their backyard and being back here, you know, um, you know, I, I understand that I'm, I'm a role model to a lot of kids, and they look up to me uh, in so many different ways, either as another parent of their household or a superhero or a brother or, or whatever you want to put me as in their household. They can use me as inspiration to make their dreams become true, and I, I'm, I, I'm happy to be that. So, um, you know, it's not me all the time going out in the community and, and doing things which I do as well, but it's more of, uh, you know, just my presence. Is there a little validation of the place, too? Well, I'm from Akron, you know, and uh, which is 30 miles south of here, but that's not too far. So, you know, for me to be able to, to be back and to be in my hometown, uh, to be in Cleveland, you know, the, you know basically, you know, the, the hometown uh, professional basketball team and uh, do what I love to do on a day to day basis, and that's play the game of basketball. What would a championship mean more to you? Why? Uh, for multiple reasons. I don't want to get too ahead of myself because I don't want to talk about it too much because then it can be used as a sound bite.
you guys won't play my whole answer, so I'm not even, <laughs> not even going to get involved in that right now. We, we got a long way to go. Do you have any? You kind of went into the year working on free throws. Yeah, on my conditioning, um, I conditioned even more with you know when I was on my diet. So I got in some really really good conditioning. I felt I felt a lot better than I thought I was gonna feel today, and I think that had something to do with it. Just not carrying on some of the pounds that I had uh, coming to training camps before. Um, so that was the that was the main thing. <laughs>say the efficiency we were happy to get to work today coach put in his sets and you know, we're just all trying to get on the same page so it was a good day like I mentioned it was efficient so we're looking forward to tomorrow next one how would you characterize coach Vlad after one practice very focused you can tell that his, his team is driven we're all very happy to finally get on the floor uh, after all the talk and just uh, gritty ready to get to work Have you saw him in chemistry earlier, you know, it's just day one, in chemistry developing right away? As you mentioned, it's day one, but we got a lot of guys that know how to play basketball, very unselfish by nature, as I mentioned yesterday, so we just want to continue to grow. We felt like today was a step in the right direction, and we know that we're all in this thing together, so we're happy that day one is, is out of the way. We got some good work in. Uh, we're getting some good work in here after practice, and we just have to rest up and prepare for tomorrow. David, Coach Black, first day as an NBA coach for an NBA practice. I couldn't tell. He looks poised. He looks like he's ready to lead us. And everybody was very attentive. Uh, we all spoke before practice. Uh, we all spoke yesterday after media day. And we hit the ground running. So we just want to continue to, to keep getting better. But as I mentioned, I felt like today was a good step in the right direction. Kevin, you've, uh, you've competed against LeBron. You've been on the floor with him for All-Star Game. What, what was your overall reaction to being on the floor with him as a teammate? As always, he's a consummate pro, a leader, a guy that everybody listens to when he speaks up. And he's an extension of uh, the coaching staff and Coach Blatt. So when he, uh, when he stepped up to the plate for us today, there are a lot of, a lot of uh, opportunities where he made the extra, uh, you know, the hockey assist, the extra pass. And there were times where he took over on the offensive end. So uh, you guys know LeBron James at this point. We do too. We're just looking to get out there with, uh, on the floor as much as we can with him because uh, that's what we need is time on our side. Kevin, you mentioned that you guys all spoke. Uh, what was the message that was being presented to the team? Just that we're all in this thing together. There's going to be different things going on throughout the season. There's going to be peaks and valleys, but we, we have to know that we're in this foxhole together and we're, uh, we just can't let anybody into the circle. So I think that was uh, uh, the number one thing. And we're, I'll keep mentioning it throughout this whole thing, throughout training camp, the preseason. We're just, uh, we're just happy to be on the floor and working together and getting better. Yeah, I mean, obviously, before, I mean, obviously, you know, before the, in New York, there's always some excitement about, like, you know, summer 15, you can come in, how you come from it. Did you ever give that any thought? I mean, before this? No, I mean, I'm a Cleveland Cavalier, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here. So, um, all that is... Yeah, in the past now, I'm here now, and you know, I'm not really focusing on, on 2015. I'm focused on today and getting in the gym tomorrow. Kevin, how much of uh, the last work in your kind of uh, How much do you know about what he's done before? Just, just from what I've read and from what uh, the teammates and I have talked about, I know that he spent 20-plus or 23 seasons over there in Europe uh, from, for several teams. I, I remember meeting him. In 2012, at the Olympics, when he coached the Russian team to a bronze medal, I know he went to Princeton. Uh, you know, has a great, different European style of offense where we're all going to get uh, equal opportunity and a chance to uh, do what we want with the ball. So uh, we put on our defensive uh, sets today, and we're going to continue to grow uh, on both ends of the ball. Just being a triple threat, I'm going to be. I'm going to have a lot of opportunities to, to pass the ball here, set up, set up my teammates, which is very gratifying to say the least. We have guys that can, you know, put the ball in the hole. We know what we're capable of. But as as you know, this year goes on, and as 
we continue to, to get better every day and we continue to just take it day by day. We're going to have more defined roles on this team and different players are going to step up in, in different times. Yeah, I'm sorry if you already asked, asked this question, but can you tell the difference between the you know, first day of camp here opposed to the first day of camp in Minnesota? It was just a great day. Uh, Minnesota, we had great days as well, first days of camp. and. There's a, uh, there's a great energy here, and we're going to continue to keep that up because we, uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about us this year and a lot of talk about other, the other top teams in the league, but we know we have a lot of work to do, and, and it starts with, with today and it starts with training camp. Kevin. Okay.